Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference was all about software. OS X is now Mac OS. The new iteration is going to be Sierra, and of course, it took the wraps off Watch OS 3.0. There's a ton of hidden features in Sierra that Apple just didn't talk about, and a lot of new things in Watch OS 3 didn't have time to touch on either. So to you, we've got seven things that maybe you didn't know about Mac OS Sierra and Watch OS 3. Apple announced Siri is coming to Mac OS, but they didn't talk about was everything it's going to be able to do. Siri can control system settings like screen brightness, toggling on or off Wi-Fi, adjust system volume, and even put your Mac to sleep, and also start the screensaver. Siri also knows some system specs too, like processor speed, how much memory your computer has, the computer serial number, how much free space is going to be left on your hard drive. All you got to do is ask. Mac OS Sierra is going to give Apple Pay the ability to know if you have your Apple Watch or iPhone nearby and allow you to buy stuff from the web right within Safari. Safari can be instructed to show or hide Apple Pay buttons based on the proximity of an Apple Pay enabled device to keep your watch or phone on you, but you probably have your watch on you. Don't leave your phone behind. Mac OS Sierra is bringing picture to picture to the Mac lineup, which we knew about. While it might seem like you can only drag the picture to one of four corners on the screen, actually holding the control key will allow you to drop the picture anywhere you want. After WWDC, everyone knew that iMessage was going to get tremendous updates. While the Mac may not be able to create many of those special effects that we saw, it can view most of them. The most useful, at least to me, is the rich URL previews. Essentially what this means, if someone texts you a link, iMessage is going to pull up a mini preview with a site name and often a picture in a preview box. It's way better than a thousand character text link. And also, you know, friends are sending you something that you don't want to look at at work. You know you do it. And the last hidden feature in Mac OS Sierra, Siri can be mapped to a keystroke command or even disabled entirely if you don't want her around. In the preference panel of Sierra, users can disable Siri completely, change her voice even, disable voice feedback, configure which microphone to use, and even set a custom keyboard shortcut for activating her. There's obviously way more that goes into Mac OS Sierra, and as each beta comes out, we'll update this list and see if there's anything new that we think you guys should know about. If you've installed the beta, let us know how your experience is going, and maybe you can help sway people one way or another. Watch OS 3 is endowing the Apple Watch with some really much needed features, and Apple was pounding their chest about these at WWDC, but there's a lot more that they didn't announce. Here's some hidden features we found in Watch OS 3. Apple added a face gallery option in the Apple Watch app for iOS and makes it way easier to switch faces to all different customization options or even edit complications. Similar, I'd say, to what we see on the Android Wear app on Android. And Apple finally enabled Find My iPhone to locate a missing Apple Watch. Rather than accidentally taking screenshots on the Apple Watch daily, you can easily disable screenshots from the iOS companion app, which at least for me is a big deal because my son's always playing with my watch and I end up with half my camera roll is just random screenshots of watch faces. Apple also added new complications for the modular watch face, which is my personal favorite as well as a new extra large watch face when you leave the house without your glasses on or you just want to get one for your mom or dad. So what do you guys think about Mac OS Sierra and Watch OS 3? Have you installed it? What's your opinion been? Any other features that Apple didn't announce? Leave the comments down below and let us know and maybe you can help sway people one way or another to download these betas. Till next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next one.